The Enhanced MRP module was created by E2B Technologies for manufacturing and distribution companies who want to better manage inventory levels by using advanced features to aid in planning of production and purchasing activities. Functions within the module provide the ability to sort requirements by an MRP planner code in addition to buyer, the ability to plan purchase order quantities in min, max, and multiples, the ability to plan work orders in a make-to-order environment where the planned work order is linked to a sales order line, the ability to further define the plan using additional select criteria such as ignore staging bins, the ability to automatically save the MRP version after generating orders, the ability to link MRP versions together for separate MPS and MRP planning, the ability to further define planned orders using additional planning options such as move in and move out of existing orders, the ability to make adjustments using exception messages, the ability to view demand through MRP pegging, the ability to change the vendor on the MRP planning screen prior to converting the planned purchase order, and the ability to schedule automatic MRP generation. Additional MRP planned purchase order parameters have been added to the lower portion of the Maintain Inventory screen. The minimum PO quantity is the minimum quantity of the item that will be added to a planned purchase order in MRP processing. The maximum PO quantity is the maximum quantity of the item that will be added to a planned purchase order in MRP processing. Mandatory PO multiple is used in the quantity calculation of the item that will be added to a planned purchase order in MRP processing. This is extremely useful when ordering in box load or truck load quantities. The window days will override the planning window defined in the MRP version options tab for the item in MRP processing. Additional planned work order parameters have also been added to the Maintain Inventory screen. On the lower right corner, if the Make to Order checkbox is checked, a planned work order will be created if no previous work order is tied to the sales order line by the Enhanced MRP module for every sales order line found for the inventory record. This creates a one-to-one -one relationship between the sales order line and the work order in the scenario. The creation of the planned work order will happen when generate planned orders is performed in the MRP planning screen. An action message will also be created if the sales order line quantity does not match the work order quantity for any existing tied work orders. The sales order number and line number will be displayed in the planned order grid for the planned work order. The sales order line and priority will be copied to the work order when the planned work order is converted into an actual work order through enhanced MRP and the work order number will also be copied to the sales order line in the sales order module. If the projected lead time is entered for a manufactured item then enhanced MRP will use that as the production time instead of calculating the production time from the routing steps to determine the beginning of the work order which will also be used to determine the material required date. Additional enhancements have also been added to the Options tab. If Ignore Staging Bins is checked, quantities in staging bins will be excluded from on-hand material calculations during MRP processing. As an example, if staging bins are used for QA hold areas, MRP will not count those quantities in this case. If the E2B sales forecasting module is used, the version is entered here and the following options are then available. If select forecasted items is checked, all items in the forecast version will be imported into the MRP version even though they might not be part of the select criteria on the main tab. If exclude roll demand is checked, any unused forecast quantities that are being rolled forward will not be used in the MRP planning process. If exclude plan demand is checked, no forecast quantities will be pulled into the MRP version. If no forecast version is entered here, this flag will apply to any quantities in the inventory replenishment demand adjustment record and they will not be pulled into the MRP version. 
The enhanced MRP module also provides the capability to link multiple MRP versions together. This allows for the creation of MPS MRP versions for finished good work orders that are then pulled into a master MRP version for component planning. In the example here I have set up an MRP version I called MPS. I've set this to begin calculating at level zero which are finished good items and I've also set this not to generate any lower level items. So this will create planned work orders for finished good items only. On the MRP version I called master I've set this to begin generation at level one I've also directed it to generate lower level items as well. Components for the planned work orders in the MPS version are then planned in the master MRP version using the planned work order number from the MPS MRP version. The plans are linked by the planned work order MRP tab and you'll see that I've told the master version to link up with the MPS version. So the demand for the master version will come from the MPS version. Additional functionality has also been added to the planned orders task. If the exclude within lead time box is checked, the MRP generation will prevent work orders or purchase orders from being created within their lead times. Orders are created after their lead times and an exception message is created notifying the planner that they need to take action to avoid a late material requirement. If the assume PO move in box is checked, the MRP generation will assume that you will move purchase orders ahead to satisfy a requirement, then create new planned POs to replace the moved POs. The exception messages box is automatically checked if this option is selected. If the assume work order move in is checked, the MRP generation will assume that you will move a work order ahead to satisfy a requirement, then create a new planned work order to replace the other work order and its requirement. Again, the exception messages box is automatically checked if this option is selected. If the exception messages box is checked, the MRP generation will create action messages for late work orders and purchase orders, suggested work order and purchase order move in and move out, suggested work order or purchase order cancellation, warnings when the work order or purchase order falls inside the lead time requirements. Exception messages include the item number, warehouse, transaction dates, and quantities. If the make to order checkbox is checked in the maintain inventory record for that item and that warehouse, then the sales order, the sales order line, and the sales order priority are displayed on the planning grid in MRP for the planned work orders. When the work order is created from MRP, the sales order data is updated on the work order and the work order data is updated on the sales order just as if the work order had been created from the sales order or the work order had been linked to the sales order from within the maintain work order screen. The exception messages are displayed on the messages tab. There are several display options one of which is show messages for selected item only. If I check that messages for the item displayed above will appear. It's a great way to narrow down all the messages and group them by item if you choose. Now you'll see the first one is a move in purchase order. It tells me purchase order 36 I should move it from June 27th to June the 2nd. If I double click on that it automatically takes me to the transaction detail grid where I can review all the details for that item. There I can see the purchase order. If I double click on that it'll actually bring up a purchase order inquiry screen where I can review uh, everything about that particular purchase order. Okay, if we go back to the messages tab, you can uncheck that and we'll look at all of them. I can also group them by type of message. So if I highlight the drop down, I'll look at work order actuals. This is where I can see all the messages that pertain to work orders. You'll see it's showing on the top at the beginning here, uh, late work orders. Drop down it says cancel work order. 
So if I double click on that, again takes me to the transaction detail grid for that item and highlights the planned work order. So I can review the reasons why I might want to carry out the actions described in the messages. Okay. If I select the purchase order actuals, you can see here that we have messages for moving in purchase orders, purchase orders that are late, uh, canceling purchase orders, as well as moving out purchase orders. Now if I double click on the cancel purchase order, you see it takes me right to the one that I should cancel and here we can see that we have excess inventory here so maybe something changed uh, maybe a sales order was canceled or something in the demand stream where we really don't need these purchase orders anymore Okay, so if I go back to my messages again you can see that this tells me everything that I need to carry out with regard to purchase orders The vendor selected by MRP planning can be changed within Enhanced MRP prior to converting the planned purchase order to an actual purchase order. Merely select the lookup next to the vendor. This will provide a lookup window. You'll see that I've preset the filter for approve vendor equal to yes. So this is now controlled by the checkbox in the maintain vendor item screen that we looked at previously. So I can select a different vendor that's approved you'll see it's changed it in the grid. So now when I convert this into an actual purchase order, the PO will be created with the vendor advanced instead of American. The vendor can also be changed from within the transaction detail grid. If I double click, when the planning purchase orders inquiry screen comes up, I can change my vendor here as well. Pegging is provided on the period summary tab by merely selecting the required detail button. This will display all of the overall demand for the finished good items that in this case is using one of our component products called MAST that's displayed on the top of the material requirements planning screen. So on the grid below I can see all of the demand for each finished item whether it's from a sales order, PD represents forecasts, PM represents plan material usage, so I can see all of the demand for that component item on the MRP pegging screen. Planners can now also access MRP pegging directly from the task menu. Again, separating these tasks makes it easier to access the pegging screen without going through the generation screen. Enter or select the MRP version, the item number, the warehouse, and click on Show Requirements to display the demand for the item requirements. Planners can now schedule MRP to run at night, over the weekend, or during other off-peak times to minimize the impact on other system users. Schedules can be maintained for multiple MRP versions at the same time and can be defined as recurring events. Create an MRP version in Enhanced MRP, then we would create uh, a schedule ID that's linked to the MRP version. Select the options on the criteria tab to use when the MRP version is generated. On the schedule tab, enter the timing of the automated MRP generation. And the messages tab will display all messages that were created during the MRP generation. So they can be viewed here prior to actually going into the enhanced MRP planning screen. An MRP action message report is available to aid the planner in making the necessary changes to work orders, purchase orders, and transfer orders. This can be run for all items, groups of items, using the select criteria here. I've selected one item just to narrow it down a bit. Now I can preview this or I can print it to a printer. And in this case, this is going to display all of those messages for the item that I've selected here. So I can see it's telling me to move in purchase order 36, uh, gives me the dates over farther here. Cancel purchase order 18, 30, and 29. So this will aid uh, any planner in making sure that they know what changes need to be made.